One of the most important things for you to know when getting into crypto that a lot of people don't know when they're first getting started is just how advanced the trading scene is in crypto. It really is a lot different than it used to be a couple years ago. And now you have a ton of different bots as well as specialized tools that give you a massive advantage over other users. And there's even a lot of private bots out there that make it harder for the average person to be as profitable in the space. So in this video, I'm going to go over what you need to know about your different trading options options, as well as just some things that you need to be aware of in this space. Now, like I just said, guys, the trading scene in crypto is getting way more competitive. Whenever you have a new token getting listed on a centralized exchange, for example, you have a bunch of bots that simply snipe that token. You even have things called MEV bots, which are sandwich bots on different chains such as Ethereum, where let's say you go to buy a significant amount of a specific token. What they'll do is they'll front run your transaction with a buy by having a higher gas rate than you. All of a sudden, they get their order through before you, the price goes up, but then your order goes in right after them and then they immediately sell with their bot. And this is called a sandwich bot where they're making the, the spread, where they're sandwiching the spread because they were able to get in before you. I'll dive into that a little bit deeper further into this video. There's also various different platforms and tools out there that can give you a competitive edge, such as Bullex, which I'll bring up, as well as different Telegram bots such as Bonk. And getting into these different softwares and programs are gonna give you a really big edge when it comes to trading in the space. And the last thing I want to say is back when I was first getting started in crypto, you really didn't have that many options other than swapping and stuff like that. But now a lot of centralized exchanges have futures, they have perpetuals, they have leveraged trading, they have liquidity and trading bots, they have pre-market trading. So a lot of different stuff out there for the more advanced traders. Now, the first thing that I want to bring up here is Telegram bots in trading platforms. If you're serious about actually trading these different meme coins or trading these different projects, you're definitely going to have to be aware of what bots or what software is out there that's going to give you a competitive edge. And unfortunately, this video is just going to be broad because by the time you watch this in maybe a year from now, there's going to be completely different software and completely different strategies. But what you need to know is there's a lot of private bots that make a lot of these trades on different blockchains. They're sniping NFT mints right away. They're sniping token sales right away. They're sniping new LPs. And it is a battle of the bots right now to see which bots are actually fastest. And as I was saying earlier, some of these bots are actually sandwich bots. And what you need to do is you need to turn on MEV protection and a lot of different sites, especially on Solana, for example, if you're using Photon as the trading decks, you can actually turn on this MEV protection. So just make sure you're turning that on or you're looking up how to turn that on at that point in time if you're someone making trades. Otherwise, you're going to be paying more for everything. Another interesting thing that really took storm over this past year are different Telegram trading bots such as BonkBot. Now, BonkBot is free to use and you basically have a Telegram and you can have all this customized trading as well as really fast trades by just typing and clicking buttons in a telegram rather than the front end of some sort of decentralized exchange. And this is all mostly on Solana, but it's happening on a bunch of different chains just because of how competitive Solana is when it comes to trading. But just be aware that there are these different telegram bots out there. And a lot of times you can use them for free and get an advantage over other people out there. There's also a new trading platform that this is actually my referral code called Bullex. And this is a pretty insane terminal that just came out recently. And it opens a whole different realm of different trading possibilities as well as automated strategies. So once again, take the time by the time you're watching this video to make sure that you know which tools and which software out there will give you the biggest edge. The next things I want to do is quickly go over some of the different trading options out there and explain them a little bit more. Because if you're new to the space and new to trading, you might not actually know what these different things are. First thing is future trading. Now, futures contracts are agreements to buy or sell an asset at a predetermined price at a specific date in the future. These contracts are standardized and traded on exchanges. Now, the purpose of futures were, are used for hedging for speculation. So for instance, farmers might use futures to lock in the price for their crops, while traders might speculate on price movements. And then for the settlement, futures can either be settled either in cash or through a physical delivery of an underlying asset. And just an example here, a trader agrees to buy one Bitcoin at $30,000 three months from now. If the price of Bitcoin rises above $30,000, the trader profits. If it falls below, the trader incurs a loss. So it's really interesting stuff. If you think that Bitcoin, for example, is going to be a lot higher in three months, 
you and you can lock in buying now at thirty thousand dollars in that three month time period. Then if this went all the way to sixty thousand dollars, you can still buy in at that thirty thousand dollar price, and now you'd make a two x worth of profit. So pretty interesting stuff with futures. It's really about hedging your losses too. If you kind of want to protect yourself and say, hey, I want to be able to sell Bitcoin at thirty k in three months because I'm not sure if it's going to stay at this price or if it's going to absolutely collapse. Next thing here are perpetuals. These are a lot more common and they're very similar to futures, but they don't have some sort of specified date. They're also known as perpetual swaps or perpetual futures. So there's no expiration unlike the traditional futures where you have to say, hey, I want three months or I want four months. Instead, there's no expiration date and that's why they're actually called perpetual. Uh, and these traders can hold these positions indefinitely. Now, a couple of things that you have to know is that there is a funding rate most of the time on these different sexes and it's to keep the contract price close to the underlying asset price. So exchanges use a funding rate mechanism. Depending on market conditions, traders holding longer short positions might pay or receive funding fees. So just be aware that if you are holding this for a long time, you are going to occur these different fees over time, and they can really start to add up in a negative direction towards you. Just as an example here, a trader can go buy or go long or sell or go short a perpetual contract on Bitcoin without worrying about some sort of contract or expiration date, maintaining this position as long as they manage the funding payments, which are the different fees that they have to spend the longer they hold these perpetuals. The last interesting and probably most important one to me is actually called pre-market trading. A lot of times we have these different cryptocurrencies that aren't out yet, such as them giving out points on a dApp for airdrop farming, or maybe they announce their airdrop and you can claim it soon, but right now it's trading on the pre-market and they're basically settling where the price is going to be before they actually get listed on a centralized exchange or before liquidity gets added on a DEX. So it's really interesting as ZK Sync actually just announced their airdrop and snapshot and how much airdrop you're actually going to be able to claim. And now on Whales Market or Bybit, you can actually go on there and start buying some of these tokens before they come out. So it's nice as I like to go on there and I like to use it as an indicator of how well it might perform when it actually goes on a centralized exchange. Or if I think it's undervalued, that's an opportunity for me to buy some of those tokens. What's really nice is because of the smart contracts, these individuals that are saying they're willing to sell these tokens, they have to put up collateral. And that collateral, a lot of times, is two times the value. So if for whatever reason, they don't give you their tokens within the time frame that you're supposed to get those tokens, you're actually able to claim your collateral and make money from that. And in their situation, let's say the token went on a massive run, they might be like, hey, I'm better off losing my collateral and keeping these tokens for myself. So really interesting tool. I recommend and checking out the pre-market trading for every crypto that's coming out that you're interested in investing in because that's a great way to see the volume. It's a great way to see the demand and it's a great way to give some price predictions of how this is going to open up. And if you're someone that's really bullish on something and you think it's undervalued, it's also a great way to make money in a more niche market. Those are some of the main trading things that I wanted to bring up to you guys simply because I know you're gonna be seeing some of these on different centralized exchanges. And I wanted to let you guys know because on these these different decentralized exchanges, there's so much competition with all these different bots that you really have to take the steps to figure out which tools are going to give you the biggest competitive advantage if you're someone that's serious about trading. And that wraps up the video. I'll see you on the next one.